Have you seen this interesting wooden cross on the corner of Western Avenue and Maiden Lane, just across the street from the Wenatchee Cemetery? Or perhaps you've seen this sign for the church next to it, Three Hierarchs Orthodox Christian Church. That's a mouthful. What could all that mean, and who are these people? Hi, allow us to introduce ourselves. In interacting with the Wenatchee community, we couldn't help but realize that most people do not know who we are or what we believe. So as we deeply value your time, we will valiantly attempt to let you know what we are all about in as short a time as humanly possible. We want to communicate just three things. One, who attends our local parish. Two, what the Orthodox Church is. And three, who the three hierarchs are. Up first, our people. Our congregation is made up of regular old Wenatchiites, as well as people from as far away as Plain, Afreda, and all the way up to Bridgeport and the Canadian border, who have come to know this ancient faith. They come from all kinds of spiritual backgrounds, or none at all. We have a few beloved Greeks, Ukrainians, and other lovely people from traditionally Orthodox Christian countries as well. But really, we are all regular Americans and our services are all in English. We work in this community as doctors, lawyers, technicians, nurses, entrepreneurs, librarians, mechanics, just to name a few. We play in this community as well, hiking and biking on the backcountry trails, skiing, as well as playing baseball, hockey, and more. We are invested in the Wenatchee Valley and love it dearly. Many of us were born and raised in the Wenatchee Valley. We are not typically brash or overbearing about sharing our faith, so it may be that you know an Orthodox Christian already, but just don't realize it yet. The second of the three things we wish to share is an incredibly condensed history of the Orthodox Church. The original Christian church was founded by Jesus Christ and his apostles in and around Jerusalem in the early first century AD. It began in what was the Eastern Roman Empire, in the Middle East to be exact. So it's fair to say that Christianity is actually an Eastern religion. This church very quickly spread to the West and to the entire known world, even as far as Britain, Spain, Ethiopia, Eastern Europe, and even India. The faith spread far and wide, and there developed five major centers of the Christian church, Jerusalem, Alexandria in Egypt, Antioch in Syria, Constantinople, which became the capital of the Christian world, and Rome. So, four in the East and one in the West. The church weathered many difficulties and experienced many triumphs, maintaining a common doctrine and understanding of the faith together as one unified church for the first thousand years even if it was messy at times. But in 1054 AD, Rome officially split away from these other four Christian city centers and their bishops, creating what is known today as the Roman Catholic Church. But what about the other four Christian centers east of Rome? That's us. The Great Schism of 1054 was a tragedy and far too long a story to be told here. The four remaining centers of Christianity were beset by many, many troubles after the Great Schism. These include being sacked by crusaders, conquered by Muslims, and persecuted by communists. Just in the 20th century alone, millions of Orthodox Christians have been martyred for their faith in Christ. But the Orthodox Church has survived and thrived unchanged from antiquity, and it is increasingly active in North America, Western Europe, and South America. Our church parish specifically, here in Wenatchee, is an arm of the Church of Antioch. Antioch is the place where the followers of Christ were first called Christians. The Apostle Peter was the Bishop of Antioch before he was Bishop of Rome, and the current Bishop of Antioch is the 174th successor to the Apostle Peter and lives on the street called Straight in Damascus, Syria, where the Apostle Paul was baptized. We are deeply humbled and honored to share in this spectacular spiritual heritage. Lastly, let's talk about the three hierarchs. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Our Bishop gave us this name because he knew we needed a challenge. As in ancient times, every Orthodox parish is named after a famous person or event from church history. This is the practice in other Christian communities as well, such as St. Joseph's Catholic Church or St. Paul's Lutheran Church here in Wenatchee. The word hierarch is a name of honor and respect given to the three great men after which our specific church building and community is named. These men are St. John Chrysostom, St. Basil the Great, and St. Gregory the Theologian. They are all three considered saints and great teachers by most Christians, including Roman Catholics, the Protestant Reformers, as well as non-Christian thinkers and mystics. These three 4th century bishops defended the deity of Christ and the doctrine of the Holy Trinity. We do not have time here to go into all the amazing things, such as inventing hospitals, that these men did, but they are worth an internet search. 
It is our hope that now when you see Three Hierarchs Orthodox Church, that you have a bit more context about what these words mean and who we are. Thank you! Since you are apparently still watching, we will finish with some common questions we often receive. First, are you Jewish? No. We are Orthodox, but not Jewish. We are Christian. Are you Catholic? Well, yes and no. We are not connected with Roman Catholicism, but the Church has always understood itself to be Catholic, a Greek word that means whole or full. What denomination are you? We are not a denomination. We predate denominations. Are you some sort of weird cult? We certainly are not a cult or a one-off church. There are somewhere between 200 and 300 million Orthodox Christians in the world today, making it the second largest Christian community in the world. Are you Greek? Not in the way you may be thinking. Orthodox Christians live in a multitude of countries, including Japan, Kenya, and Guatemala. We are not Greek as in the nation, but originating from a time when almost everyone in the known world spoke Greek, the language of the New Testament. We have people of every race and background imaginable, just as we have since the very beginning 2,000 years ago. While we have many different backgrounds and ethnicities, we are Americans and our services are all in English. We believe in one God and Father who sent one Messiah, His Son, Jesus Christ, to establish one church through the Holy Spirit. The three persons of the Trinity are one and undivided as the church is called to be. Thank you for watching to the end. For doing so, we have a special gift for you. Simply follow the link in the description to get a copy of a free book written by our priest, Father Michael Shanbor, called simply Know the Faith, which is an introduction to Orthodox faith and practice in comparison and contrast to Roman Catholicism and Protestantism. If you have further questions, you can find us at 1915 Northwestern Avenue or feel free to reach out via our website, whenorthodox.com. May God bless you and we hope to meet you very soon.